Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over making some buttons in Flash. So I've got a new Flash movie here set up. It is currently blank. And the first way I'm going to go about this is I'm just going to uh, insert a new symbol, but I'm going to instead use the button type symbol. So there are movie clip symbols, obviously for motion, graphic symbols for still graphics, and button symbol. And I'll just go ahead and call this uh, basic button one. Now when you insert a, a button symbol, notice your timeline changes here a little bit, and you can certainly have multi multiple layer buttons, but there's an up, over, down, and hit. So up is how the button's going to look regularly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a rectangle tool, and I'll just choose a solid fill, and I'll keep that black stroke there, no problem. And I'll just go ahead and create a regular button. Use my selection tool. Let me just go ahead and make sure this is centered, so I'll use my alignment tool center it to the stage looks good so that's my basic up stage button now I'm gonna go over to the over frame the over frame implies how is this button gonna look when somebody moves their mouse pointer over the button I'll just go ahead and press F6 that makes it a keyframe and also repeats the um, the original button I had before and I'll change the fill over to a uh, darker blue so now I've got a blue button with a black border. Now I'm going to go to the down frame, press F6. And of course the down state is when the person is literally pressing the button. So when they move the mouse over, that's the over frame. When they click the mouse button, that's the down frame. And for the down frame, I think what I'll do is I'll uh, select the border and I'll change the stroke or the border. I'll change that to a bright green. There we go. And last but not least is the hit frame. The hit frame can really be anything. Uh, for the button I've got going on here though, it's going to be the most prudent is just to press F6 again. And my hit frame is going to be the area that will activate the button when the person moves their mouse over it. So in this case, my hit's going to be the exact same size as my button. For instance, if I, uh, let's use a free transform tool here. If my hit area was smaller than my button, that means it wouldn't the button wouldn't be activated until they move their mouse over this. So let's check this out for a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm done with this part. I'll jump back over to my scene. I'm going to take my basic button. I'll stick it right here. And let me go and use my uh, free transform tool and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So there's my button. And let's check this out. And notice here's my button. And if I mouse over it, it changes to blue. And if I click, it changes the border. Okay. But notice that it's not happening if I move my mouse over this right edge or the left edge for that matter. Because my hit area is smaller than my visible button. Okay. So it only works when I get into this middle part. So that's not as cool. So I'm going to modify that button symbol. Um, I'll go ahead and just select what I have on the hit frame and delete it go to my down frame and I can just basically select all that do a copy go to my hit frame and I'll do edit paste in place so now my hit object is as big as my down over or up object so now that I've made that little change I can go back to scene one review it and now notice it'll affect my button even when I'm on these outer edges so there's my there's my button there's the over, click, there's the click stage, and takes care of our basic button. I'm going to do one slight little modification here, but I want to add a little bit of animation to my button. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in a couple of stages. I will insert a new symbol. This time it's going to be a uh, graphic symbol, and this is going to be my uh, button original. Okay, it's a graphic symbol, and for this one I will simply use. Uh, I'll do a, uh, a rectangle primitive. Go ahead and draw that out. I've already got curved corners on it. Use my alignment tool just to center it up nicely. Okay, so I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Um, actually, I'm going to put in a gradient. So I'll change my gradient over. So I'll just choose my palette up here. I'm going to choose a linear gradient. Um, actually, these colors are okay. That's fine. And apply that. Now I want my gradient to be uh, more vertical, so I'm going to use my go to my free transform tool, switch over to my gradient transform tool, and then I will rotate that gradient around. 
and then size it to fit the button appropriately. There we go, so now I've got my gradient. That's my button original, okay? That's a graphic symbol. Now I'm going to, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna select this, copy it, and I'm gonna insert new symbol, but this one's gonna be a movie clip symbol, and it's gonna be my button over, I'll just do my button over state. So I'm on this making a new movie clip symbol. I'll do an edit, paste in place, there we go. And for this one, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'll jump out to about 24 frames, that's one second, I'm doing 24 FPS. I'll use my gradient tool here, and I'm gonna rotate this gradient around so it's the opposite way. Oops, I forgot to make a keyframe, so I'm gonna just Control Z to undo. Okay, let's go out to frame 24 again. I'll press F6 to make a keyframe. Now I can rotate my gradient around. So green on top, dark blue on the bottom, dark blue on the top, green on top, right click, make a shape tween. So now it'll kind of do this little weird effect there. All right, that's pretty cool. So that's my button over state. And let's see, I'll go back to my button original. There's my original button. Select it all, copy, and actually for button hit, I think I'll just change the border again. So I'm gonna do an insert, oh, actually I'll do another movie clip symbol here. New symbol, movie clip, and let's go ahead and call this button hit. Click OK, edit, paste in place. And I think for this one, I'll just change the stroke color several times. So let's see, how about if we just go to uh, frame five. Oops, let me use my selection tool here first. Cancel. Frame five, F6 to make a keyframe. And I'll change the stroke out to a bright red. So on frame one, it's green. On frame five, it's red. So my hit is gonna flicker back and forth between these two states, between red and green. That's fine, so that's my button hit. I think I'm ready to assemble my button now. I know I have the over, but I can take care of that pretty easily. So I'm going to insert a new symbol, and this is gonna be a button symbol, and this is gonna be my, uh, my groovy button. I'll click OK. Now my button up state, I'm just gonna take my button original graphic and I'll stick it right on there use my alignment tool to center it up nicely alright then I go to my button over state and I'll do a keyframe delete what's there and I'm gonna take my mo my movie clip button over and I'm gonna put that on here once again center it up nicely okay so my button up is my original my button over is made up of my movie clip symbol of button over and I go to button down press F6 to make a keyframe delete what's there take my button hit movie clip symbol from my library bring it over here center it up nicely excellent last but not least is hit for hit I can just press F6 and leave what is there that's fine so now I have my groovy button set up I can jump back over to scene one. Of course, I've got my original button. Let me just kind of free transform tool. Size that out of the way. Just kind of lift, I'll move it up a little bit higher. And now I'll find my groovy button in my library. Bring that out here. Use my Alt key so I can just size that there. So I can just size in one direction. So now I've got my regular, my original button and my groovy button. Let's see how they look here. Original button, of course, we saw that one on hover, changes color, on click, border changes color, there we go. And now on this one though, when we hover over, we get that background color change, that's pretty slick. And when I click and hold, we get our border flashing. So, there's a little bit of buttons. You can make regular buttons, or you can use movie clip symbols in the various button stages.